Hey, what's cracking, guys? Excuse me one second. It's my weekly electro workout, right? Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good out there. I know it's been a while. Been doing a little bit of traveling. The weather, it's been pretty bad over here. We do have a bit of a clearing, so expect to get a bunch more videos coming up very soon. I'm very happy about that. But enough excuses, enough talk about tripods and weather. I didn't even bring up the tripod, but it doesn't even matter. We're here again. We're gonna make some videos, and I am very happy because this is where I dwell, baby. I zen here in the world of the videos. So anyways, a lot of you guys have been asking about the Dr. Guts eating. We got it right before Christmas, I think it was. It's been selling great, you know, people love it, been getting a lot of great feedback about it. But you know, the people in the greater world wanna see what it's all about. So what I'm gonna to do today is we're going to show you how it flows out of the marker. I'm also gonna show you a couple tips and tricks on how to make it stain more, stand out from the crowd, or just do whatever, something creative to make it look a little bit different. So we'll do a couple tags, we'll do a couple flow rides, we'll do all kinds of stuff. We'll see what this is all about when we put it through its paces. So why don't I go ahead and get outside in my work clothes, because you don't want to get paint on your crispies, boy. Let me get outside of my work clothes and we'll get cracking with this, and I'll show you what this is all about. See you guys in a second. What's up, guys? We're outside right now. We got our big squeeze mop. We got some Dr. Guts brand new bottle. Check it out, man. We already got our new labels. These were handmade, it took us forever to do. Finally got a real printer, I'm pretty stoked about that. But anyways, we got a few little things we're gonna be doing in this video here. I mean, obviously I wanna show you guys how the ink flows, what it's all about. Basically what it is, it's a new ink that we got in. It's a high quality industrial ink. And I, I worked very hard to make sure we got this stuff up and running. But one thing I'm really proud about is it doesn't dry out your knit. Now, I'm sure some of you have tried some silver mixtures before, and you know, not everyone is prolific as everyone, but, or even if you are, sometimes the ink just dries out the nib, and that can be really unfortunate. This mop I've been using since December, not only has it not dried out the nib, it hasn't fallen off. Because you know, sometimes the solvents can eat up the glue that's on there, and, and it can fall off. It hasn't done that with this one. This nib is still, going strong boy and as you can see I got some dye in there we'll cover that in just a second but first let's just talk about the Dr. Guts diacetone based ink it's very very durable extremely high pigment content doesn't dry out your nib also doesn't seem to eat away at the glues holding the nibs on so you have a much longer life I really like that so let's go ahead and get it filled up really quick and I want to show you a couple quick little tips with these mops too because even still these nibs can tear. I've had it happen to me in the wild. You know, a wild snag appears and it rips the sponge right off. There's something I can show you guys to work around that. We're gonna show that to you in just a second. Remember, this is highly pigmented, so shake it up really well. Give it a nice, good, heavy shake. I already shook it. I'm just showing you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get it filled up. What's up, my fill guys? You need to get your fill right now. We'll probably take up almost this whole bottle. Oh yeah. We'll leave a little bit in case I want to do something else later. All right, dope. So let's go ahead and put the nib on this mop. Now, before I do this, before I sponge up this nib, I want to show you guys a little trick, a little old school trick that people used to do back in the day. Now, like I said, back in the day, we didn't have these nice high quality mops made for graffiti. We just got whatever you got at the hardware store or in, in, in as far as shoe polish mops, you get at the grocery store, whatever. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let me show you guys a little trick. So what you can do is take a little piece of fabric like this. This just happens to be microfiber cloth. I haven't tried it on these mops yet, but I thought it'd be a good idea to give it a shot. You can just use a t-shirt if you want, but you just cut out a little circular piece like this. Now you can use a piece of wire, uh, a, a very small zip tie. I just happen to have a hair tie here. And what this is gonna do is create a protective layer. A condom, if you will. <laughs> hey, look, it's the color of Sweden. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on there. <laughs> All right, make sure it's nice on, you know, make sure it's tight, but not so tight that it totally distorts the nib. But a nice little bonnet, nonetheless and uh, give it another nice little shake and start priming that nib. 
get that ink flowing through there, baby. And what this will do is, like I said, it'll create a protective layer for your mop. Oh yeah. That looks great. All right, and, and again, you know, you can just cap it right up. It's a bit messy, but it is a mop, my friends. And that's a great little tip to help keep your mop in action. So now we got this mop ready to go. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at some other things that I've been doing with it. You know, we've been, we've been messing around, mixing inks, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, I gotta tell you, I really like mixing dye with these guys. For example, this. This is Pilot Ink mixed with the Dr. Guts. And it creates a beautiful, beautiful combo. I got some Garvey ink in this one. We'll give this a shot in a second too so you guys can see what it's about. This is an Art Primo Press and Go. This is an empty Press and Go. It's like three quarters Dr. Guts, one quarter Garvey ink. Stuff's expensive, but you only need a little bit. You don't need to put a whole lot in there. A dab will do ya. So let's go ahead and play with these mops right now and we'll see what they're all about. See you guys in a second. All right guys, let's get tagging, because that's what you guys want to see. All right, let's hit up the homie Seiko. Actually, it's not really a homie. I have a, uh, I have a hobby of mine, and uh, Seiko is a Finnish company. They make a rifle I like. <laughs> but Seiko's a dope word, man. Sounds hella sick. All right, let's hit up Seer, the homie Seer wanted to hit off. Nice. We got room here, we got room. All right, who else? Who else is up next? Who else is up next? Let's hit up Set. Set caps. Or Sect adapters, I guess. They always say not to do your mops downwards because it drips into itself. Who's making all these rules? Not me. I started doing graffiti because I hated rules. <laughs> all right, let's do another tag here. Do another seven. You guys know I love the sevens. All right, let's get some real messy drippers going. Let's do this, let's do this. Do the extra squeeze. You guys love the drips, gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. Oh man, look at that flow. Look at that. Oh, it's so messy. I love this stuff. <laughs> oh my god, this stuff is gnarly. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, it's dripping in my arm. Oh my god. This stuff should be outlawed. <laughs> All right, dope. Let's do some more tags here. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I love it. J -j -j jam on it. Should I just write jam on it? That's kind of what I'm doing. Seriously, they need to outlaw this stuff. This is... <laughs> I'm gonna hit up sect again. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. We are killing it. All right, that's great. Now you got to see what the Dr. Guts writes like. A very competent silver, although a very durable silver. It's much more durable than the smashing we used to have. The formula is light years ahead in durability. I know you love smashing, guys. It's not coming back. <laughs> but we got something new. But anyways, I wanna show you guys how it compares to the dye mixture that we have in here. This is Pilot Ink, a whole bottle of Pilot Ink poured in. So it makes it like a rosy, a rosy silver, I guess is what you would call it, burnished silver. 
It looks dope on smooth surfaces, but it gives you that extra staining ability to help fight the buff. So we'll do a side by side. Here's the regular, here's the one mix. You can see what they look like on a smooth surface, and then I'll show you guys how it looks on a porous surface. But first, let's do a side by side. All right, let's hit up Scoper again. Okay, so that's just the regular Dr. Guts. Probably should have squeezed a little harder at the end. That's okay. Now we're gonna use the dab. As you can see, you get a beautiful, like, silver, pinkish, very stainy mixture. Let's just say that but it stands out from the crowd. And that's what's really dope about mixing dyes with your metallics, is they give you a little bit of edge. Also, they're very, very difficult to buff, which I'll show you right now. All right, guys, I had some pre-prepped ones ready to go. That way we can do a quick little buff test. This is the dye again, the dye mixed with the Dr. Gut Silver, and we're gonna use some appliance white iron lac. This is a very high coverage, light color. Should buff over silver fairly well. Let's see what happens. Got that dye in there, boy. Oh my God. <laughs> That's too much. Look at that. As you can see, this is a very high coverage white. It's got a bit of a blue tinge to it, in case you didn't know. Anywhere else, it covers beautifully. But wherever that dye is, it just breaks right through. Fantastic combo. Not only that, it gives the silver way more flow. So pro tip, you wanna beat the buff? Get yourself some Garvey, some Pilot ink, even on the run flow pin ink. Any type of dye, mix it with that silver, and you got yourself a deadly, deadly combo, boy. Now what we're gonna do is try a dye mixture with Dr. Guts on a porous surface, and that way you guys can see how it looks. You guys ready for this? Check this out. Looks similar, it's got the sheen going, right? But just wait, let it dry. Let's do a couple quick more tags while we're out of here. Because I like to tag, I, you know? My, when I was a kid, my mom was like, oh, you're gonna hate graffiti when you're older. Just wait till you're older. Still tagging. So what do you know about that? <laughs> Still tagging. It's fun, man. You know, I was watching a uh, this old documentary on a, it's an old History Channel doc. Some of the old ones were actually pretty good, uh, but it was on ancient Egypt. In fact, I'm gonna hit up Seti while I'm at it here. And uh, it showed a whole bunch of ancient Egyptian graffiti, you know, all over the, not, not the hieroglyphics, of course, but just like ancient graffiti done on like rock walls and stuff by, by travelers and pilgrims and stuff like that. We've been doing this stuff for years, guys. It's in our DNA. Even the caveman did it. Ooh, caveman, that's a cool name. Oh yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let this dry and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, dope guys, check it out. It's, it's not fully dried, but as you can see, the effect is already happening. On a porous surface, the dye will bleed out and separate from the paint and create these really cool halos in the color of whatever dye you're using. As, as an example, I'm using the Garvey right now. It creates these beautiful purple bleed outs and uh, really makes you stand out from the crowd. And isn't this what this is all about, standing out from the crowd, right? <laughs> Look at that, that's so cool. But check this out. You can also do it on slaps too. Check this out. Look at this slap right here. I did this one yesterday. Don't you want to stand out from the crowd? Isn't that what you want to do? 
Don't you want to just take your slap and get up? <laughs> All right, guys. As you can see, there's a ton of creative potential with this stuff. I mean, even, you know, if you just want to sauce your tags out or if you're like a graphic artist or a fine artist looking to have that edge, you can do all kinds of stuff with this Dr. Guts. And here's some key points of why I really like it. It flows really nice through the nibs. It's very durable outdoors, extremely durable silver outdoors. Also, the diacetone formula, it's very flowy and it doesn't eat the nib or the glue that holds the mop nib on. Beautiful combination. You can mix it with dyes, do all kinds of effects. I mean, if you're a street artist, graffiti artist, saucy tagger, whatever you want to do, we welcome everybody. And if you want to sauce your stuff up, we got the tools to do it. So hey, oh, got some paint in my curly hoodie. So anyways, let's go ahead and go out to the closeout. I gotta go to lunch and uh, we'll close out this video. <laughs> and we'll move on to the next one, baby. After this video, just so you know, we're doing the Iron Lack Reload Cans. You guys been wanting to see those reloads with the Cyclone caps. And I gotta tell you, I've been messing around with them on, uh, on the Instagrams. They're pretty dope. So anyways, let's go to the closeout and we'll talk in a second. Oh yeah, baby. That was a lot of fun, man. Oh. I'm just rocking too hard over here. <laughs> Anyways, man, that was a lot of fun. We got to really see what it's all about. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoy how it flows, but man, mixing that dye in there, giving it a little bit of kick, really, really makes you stand out. And you know what? I like being funky. I like doing weird shit. It's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to have fun and show you guys what these things are all about. And yo, I gotta tell you, I really like the Dr. Guts ink. We spent a lot of time working on it. We spent a lot of time getting it out into the field with people before we even brought it to the market. And I gotta tell you, it really works great. And one important thing is it's extremely durable. It lasts, it flows, it lasts, and it mixes with that dye so beautifully. So, with that said, I will give this a double thumbs up. I'll give it a foot up at the same time too, baby, because I love it. So. <laughs> We made this, of course I love it. Made with love. So anyways, I gotta get out of here, guys. I'm gonna start filming another video right now. It's gonna be the Iron Lac Reload video. I'm really excited about that. I've been playing with them on the YouTube. I've been playing with them on the Instagram. And I gotta tell you, man, they are fat, they cover, they are an amazing silver. But I'll leave it at that, because you'll see the YouTube for that up soon, too. Also, Today, I am announcing a new challenge, boys. A new challenge. I'm working on a character video right now and I want you to be a part of it. So start working on your characters, get it going. Start sending them to me on IG. Start sending them to my email. We are making a character video together. I want you to be a part of it. You don't have to be pro. I don't judge. I just want you to freak the funk. So get working on your characters, boys. You got one week from today to get a submission in, and we will launch that video. We will show everybody's characters from all over the world. So anyways, I wanna say thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. I really appreciate you guys hitting that like button. I hate it. Please, please hit subscribe. Tell us how much you love us. Hey, tell us what we're doing wrong. You can do that too. I'm, I'm open to everything. <laughs> But just be there, be engaged, and be part of the team. Because that's what I think of you guys as. So alright, I gotta get it going. We got another video to film, and I'll see you guys later.